Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how to use the new sky replacement in Photoshop 2021. So let's head over to the computer and check that out right now. Okay, first, we're going to select an image. And I selected this image because it has some interesting foreground, but the sky is completely blown out and it ruins this photo. Let's give it a shot with the sky replacement. Let's head up to Edit and down to Sky Replacement. Once you're in Sky Replacement, you'll see that there are many tools that we can work with. The first one is this drop down. Here are some blue skies that come with Photoshop. They also have some spectacular skies and sunsets. And of course, you can import your own skies. And so here I have some skies that I have I've created and imported myself. First, you want to find a sky that will match the lighting of your photo. And as you can see in this photo, this would not match very well because the sun is actually right here. And in the sky, the sun is not even in the picture. So you got to look for where the light direction is coming from. Is it a warm light? Is it a cool light? and try to figure out what sky is going to work best for this image. So if I look through some of the skies that I have, I'm looking for a sky that actually has a sun in it to see that if I can make that work with this image. So let's try this one. It, it does have a sun in it, and I can make use of this sun flare. All right, now you can see that obviously just dropping it in doesn't work for a lot of reasons. First of all, the sun flares down here and the sun is up here. So I'm going to use this first tool. This is the move tool and click on the sky and I can move it around anywhere I want. And if I bring it down here, I can put it right where my sun flare is. So this is looking better, but my sky is not big enough. It's not covering the whole area. So there is a scale uh, slider here. I can increase the size, and that makes my sky larger. And then I can continue to adjust and put the sky wherever I think it's going to work best. All right, something like that. Now, when I look at the trees, you can see if I do Control Plus, I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to use the space bar and the hand to move over to the trees. I'm seeing a lot of the old sky, which is this lighter blue and not the gold color. So it didn't do a great job yet of masking in that area. So the slider that we want to use is this shift edge slider. So take a look at what it does. If I move it all the way to the left, what you can see is it's shifting the edge of my new sky outward. It's moving it away from the tree. What I want to do is move my new sky inward to fill in these gaps. Let's increase the shift edge. And I'll do it in small increments until I get rid of this blue color in between the branches. So I'm putting in now more of the new sky and less of the old sky. Okay, so somewhere around 60 here, I've now gotten rid of the old sky. So if I do control minus, I can zoom back out and look at my whole picture. Sky is looking better. I might need to go a little more on the shift edge. The next issue is my golden sky needs to bleed into the water. So if I come down here, there are other things that I can do. Uh, under sky adjustments, I have brightness. So I'm going to make the sky a little bit brighter because this foreground is pretty bright. I'm also going to take the fade down and I'm going to decrease the temperature of the sky a little bit. If you wanted to, you could click flip and it'll flip the sky over. In this case, that wouldn't work. Next, we have foreground adjustments. We have the choice of multiply, which makes 
the blending edge between the uh, new sky and the ground darker. And if I choose the next one, screen, it makes this blend lighter. So you'd want to use screen when you have a bright, sunny day, uh, blue sky type of a thing, and multiply on a more moody scene like this one. Uh, the lighting adjustment, you'll see that if I pull it all the way back, it lightens that darkening effect. So now it's not quite so dark here. And if I increase this, it's going to increase this multiply effect, and it's going to make this area darker. All right, for color adjustment, you'll see that if I go all the way to the left, it takes away this golden color from the water. Here you can see a little bit of it bleeding into the water. But if I want to make this a little more believable, I need this golden color to come onto the water. So I'm going to increase the color adjustment. And you notice that the water just got a little bit more golden. So I'm going to slowly keep increasing it until things start looking like a good blend. All right, maybe somewhere around there. And my final option is how do I want to output my layers? I can choose new layers or duplicate layer. If I choose duplicate layer, it'll kind of bake everything into one layer. So you, that's not the best option. You want to choose new layers so that if you want to, you could continue to work on it. Then if I say OK, you'll see what Photoshop does is it takes all the layers that it made to make this sky replacement. It puts it in a group called sky replacement group. And if I click the little down arrow, you can see all of the masks and everything it took to make this work. So if I had an area that was a problem, I could click on the individual masks and I could further refine them. As you can see, sky replacements work really well in Photoshop. They also work great in Luminar AI. And because of that, I created a free giveaway sky pack that you can download by clicking on the link in the description of this video. I've also, of course, created a sky pack for sale, and you can also check that out in the description of this video. And if you want to get a course that shows you how to use all of this stuff in Photoshop or Luminar, you can also find that in the description down below or at my website, morethanasnapshot.com. And of course, if you want to get the best deal on all of this, you want to become a Snapshot member and you get all of my online courses and all of my digital assets for one low price. Again, check out morethanasnapshot.com or the description of this video to get all the details. I hope to see you in the next class.